Good evening. Welcome to St. Henry Church. We are so glad that you're here with us. Please take a moment to greet those around you. Now would also be a great time to turn your cell phone to silent. Today we have a second collection for Black and Indian missions. Collection ba baskets are located at the entrances to the church. Today we celebrate the first Sunday of Lent. Readings for today can be found in the hymnals at number 884. That is number 884. Our celebrant this evening is Father Jesua, and he is assisted by Deacon Marty DeShanes. Our gathering hymn is not in our hymnals. The sung response is Hold Us in Your Mercy. Please stand as we begin our liturgy together. Hold us in your mercy. Hold us in In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the early observances of Holy Land, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you, all the birds and the various tame and wild animals that were with you and came out of the ark. I will establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth. God said, This is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my bow in the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring the clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant I have made between me and you and all the living beings, so that the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. The word of the Lord.
reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, Christ suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. In it, he also went to preach to the spirits in prison who had once been disobedient while God patiently waited in the days of Noah during the building of the ark in which a few persons, eight in all, were saved through water. This prefigured baptism, which saves you now, it is not a removal of dirt from the body, but an appeal to God for a clear conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers subject to him. The word of the Lord. with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark the Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert and he remained in the desert for 40 days tempted by Satan he was among wild beasts and the angels ministered to him after John had been arrested Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, one day, Frederick William I visited a prison at Potsdam and listened to many pleas for pardon from prisoners who had grievances against the legal system's injustice. All the prisoners indicated that prejudiced judges perjured witnesses and unscrupulous lawyers imprisoned them. The tale of wronged innocence continued from cell to cell until the king stopped at the door of one cell inhabited by a surly inmate who said nothing. Surprised at his silence, Frederick said, Jocularly, well, I suppose, I suppose you are innocent too. No, your majesty, was the startling response. I am guilty and richly deserve all that I get. On hearing this, the king shouted at the jail authorities, and asked them to set the prisoner free, lest he corrupt all the rest of the innocent prisoners. The prisoner who admitted his guilt showed 
potential for improvement. My dear friends in Christ, today's mass readings exhort us to repent as the kingdom of God is at hand. We are all asked to repent and absorb the waters of grace through the sacraments. The nearness of God is to be experienced and explored through repentance. There are two phases in one's life. The first one precedes conversion and the second one proceeds with conversion. A sinful life marks the first phase and occasional failures mark the second phase. Romans 3.10 says, It is written, There is no one righteous, not even one. Let's acknowledge our human shortcomings. Along with the psalmist, let's also cry out, You are not pleased by sacrifices, or I would give them. You don't want burned offerings. The sacrifice God wants is a broken spirit. You don't, you will not reject a heart that is broken and sorry for sin. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let's repent and believe in the gospel without justifying also through confession let's get cleared of our occasional mistakes and proceed what we need for conversion is repentance and not remorse peter is an icon of repentance and jude symbolizes remorse or guilt Repentance is backed up with hope and remorse only provides destructive thoughts. By rending our hearts and tearing our masks, we will all be able to accept the invitation of Jesus and get rejuvenated in this season of Lent. I would recommend uh, you all at least to make one confession in this London journey and uh, try to be uh, like a, a tree planted by the side of river. Sometimes that tree may fade, shed leaves, but it will eventually absorb water that is available. Let us also try to be original flowers. We don't want to be duplicates. Plastic flowers are good. They have no mood variations. They look same, but they don't have life. Though we are fading, sometimes we may fail. We may have ups and downs in our spiritual journeys. My dear friends, let's always try to be originals and absorb the available water. Water is available in the sacrament of uh, reconciliation. Go for reconciliation room and absorb once in a while uh, the waters of grace and experience God's mercy and celebrate that all the more in our day-to-day -day lives. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Let us all profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is Lord and glorified. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostle church. I confess one baptism for news of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us all offer our praise and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. For all baptized Christians, that we faithfully proclaim the reign of God and turn to him in every temptation, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all political leaders, that they avoid the temptations of power and greed and serve with sincere generosity those they represent. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all those on their journey to the Easter sacraments, that they experience the welcome and support of their communities, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For the members of this assembly, that through our prayer and fasting, we will be drawn ever more deeply into the Paschal mystery, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For our black and Indian missions, for whom our second collection today will be offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for our parishioner, Molly Vorak, may she celebrate everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For Michael Jane Gilligan, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. for those intentions that we hold within our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayers. The loving Father, we thank you and praise you for having accepted all our prayers. Continue to bless us and be with us so that we may realize and recognize the life that you have given to each one of us. and may lead a good life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in singing number 360, Beyond the Days, number 360.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Give us the right disposition, so Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, by abstaining forty long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his past the pattern of our London of Observances, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating earthly the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May we make offer and eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance which was blessed, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, a spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Henry, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I give you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Please join us in singing number 364, Save Your People, number 364.
Let us pray. Renew not with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope is increased, and charity strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have five announcements. Join us every Friday during Lent for Station of the Cross at 7 p.m. in the church. Friday, February 23rd, is our first Knights of Columbus Fish Fry from 5 to 7 p.m. in a fellowship hall. $13 for adults, $8 for children, 12 and over. Under, 12 and under. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteers are needed and will eat for free. Ooh. Then save the date for our Lenten penance service, Monday, February 26, at 5.30 p.m. in the church. There will be several priests from around the diocese to hear confessions. The women's club meeting is this Thursday, February 22nd, at 6 p.m. in the fellowship hall. See the bulletin for details. Saturday, February 24th, the William and Mary Wind Ensemble will have a performance at 7 p.m. in the church. The Wynn Ensemble, conducted by William and Mary Director of Bands, Dr. Richard Marcus, brings together 50 talented wind, brass, and percussion players to perform the finest music from a repertoire that spans the 16th through 21st centuries. And it's free. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.